is te vallen. Tweede investment. Ah, thank you, Mr. Acting Speaker. Me too, Mila, contribute to the debate. Just let me talk. Uh, thank you, Mr. Acting Speaker. Speech belong him, not response belong opposition leader. Mila, I start to talk also. This will have you unemployment today. Now, the pressure you may, come, you may face him today is not the result of this like government. This is a result of our bad policies since independence came. Because as a country, we over rely too much on the resource sector for a very, very long time. This is how our problem. You go to the Philippines, you go to Thailand, all the local countries also, they never depended on the resource sector. They went into manufacturing and industrialization using special economic zones. That's how that they are now powerful economies in, in Asia. We call them the Asian tiger economies. You make a big problem. We can't bring investors when the land is owned by the people. It's difficult here. You make a law and order issues. High cost of doing business. I mean, you know something which the government is responsible for. This is something we've all inherited and we've all contributed to. Me today, me like place on record in this parliament. We are talking, thank you to the Prime Minister and the Marabe government for making one of the most important decisions in the history of this country. Lord passing the Special Economic Zone Act, Lord 2019. It, it, China transformed using economic zones. Philippines recently made a visit. Within 10 years, they created 1.5 million new jobs using special economic zones, 420. The biggest employment driver is SEZ. I want to commend the Prime Minister and this government for making one of the most important decisions which will transform this nation. So we see me working on logging SEZ law must be right now. You know how many jobs you will create? Like Prime Minister of Africa, I look at 16,000 new jobs. 16,000 or one plus one thousand. This is the future, and the government is on the right track. Me not talk about because I'm minister responsible. I've seen the data from all over the world. I've seen the experience. You may depend too much on mining. Now you may get highest unemployment, highest crime rate, highest national debt. We all must all accept responsibility for the mistakes. You may all get a work in. Little of the past and us today. I accept responsibility. I've been around for 11 years. But we have learned from that. We are not sleeping. We are now going to work very hard. In May, I'm inviting all members of parliament to attend Papua New Guinea's first international SME summit in this country on the 8th and 9th. May I give partly you all back up. You listen to how Philippines was transformed, China was transformed using economic zone model. Harim, how many jobs it created? What are the do's and don'ts of AZZ? But you block the Harem and how you can transform your districts and provinces using that vehicle. That's how other countries have transformed. And our country is on the right path. And Prime Minister, I want to thank you in front of the nation today for coming up with a very, very important. We will deliver a policy. Master plan, we will deliver the laws, even land reform that needs to go with it. This is the start of the transformation. This is the future. So the government is certainly on the right track. It is not easy because you may have plenty of legacy issues like me talk. No got power, high cost of doing business, high law in order, but we are going to get there. It's exciting. In the last few weeks, I've now found an investor who is willing to build a Two black coconut refineries to process all our coconut oil in this country for the first time in our history. This is what this government will deliver before the end of this year. We are looking at Africa now to come in and put in the logging, as he said, so we can start to process all the logs in this country. Marabu government, you are, we are on the right track. Yes, we won't create our jobs overnight, but we are going to create them. It's coming. And we have five years to deliver that. So, me like I showed in public now, this parliament, that is not all gloomy. We are starting on some major initiatives which has the potential to transform this country and create the jobs that we are looking for. Philippines has done it, Thailand has done it, 
Malaysia has done using the same vehicle, and we are on our way. So let me just like give you my student law. Parliament today that the Marabe government knows what it's doing. It's on the right path. We've started some initiative, and we need all your support to work together. We must not rely, over rely on mining and petroleum anymore. We must focus on agriculture, on fisheries, go to downstream processing. So we see me building one blamo. PMI said tomorrow we'll be creating 10, 15,000 jobs. We are giving confidence today. It's not all doom and gloom. We have started on, our, on the right path and we will go and we are determined to succeed. So me just like giving that talks are long, no parliament today because look at the meeting. We are, they, there is no hope in the horizon. There is hope. And this year, by able to look at some of the major investment by come and we are going to start on this path. So with that, Mr. Speaker, me talk. I think it's through a good bloody debate. And I want to assure parliament we are on our way. And the Marabe Rosso government, in the next four years, we will deliver major transformation to the economy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.